Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, we're going to work on the great Irish jig, the Lilting Banshee. <clears throat> I'll play through it once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections so you can learn it by ear. I do recommend learning by ear as it's great practice and it's part of the tradition. But that said, if you need help, there are tabs in standard notation over at mandolessons.com along with uh, play along tracks so you can play the melody while I play the chords. I just put out new lessons every week, so subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, everything is always free. There are a couple ways to donate if you go over to the website if you're interested. But uh, it's purely optional. And let's jump back into the music here with the tune. I'll play it through once and then break it down. The Lilting Banshee. One, two, three, four. And I rolled around back through the top of the A part so you could hear the cycle. So, jumping down into the, uh, breaking it down by section, it uh, sounds like this, first phrase. Again. Again. And then uh, you have a little pickup into the second uh, phrase. So that little open A pickup, downbeats on the second fret. Let's do that again. Again. Put those two phrases together, sounds like this. Two, three, four. And then the second half of the A is almost identical. It sounds like this. So it just ends on that open A instead of uh, winding its way back down to the D string. So let's play the A part through twice and you'll get a sense of what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. Flubbed the ending of the first time through the A there, so listen to the second one. That's the correct ending. Moving on to the B part. First phrase sounds like this. Let's do that again. And then the next part sounds a little bit like the next phrase in the A part, but it's a little different. Let's 
Let's do that again. Again. Let's put those two phrases together. Let's see, here we go. Sorry, let's try that one more time. And then next phrase is the same as the first. And then the ending phrase is the same as the ending of the A part. So let's play the whole B part through twice and you'll get a sense of what it sounds like here. One, two, three, one. So there it is, that's the whole B part. Let's uh, play A-A-B-B -B now, uh, just as a reminder. This is how the A part starts. So, one, two, three, four. There's the whole tune. So again, if you need help with any little bits in there, check out the tab in standard notation at mandolessons.com. Use those play along tracks. I'll play through it one more time so you can get a sense of what it might sound like a little more up to speed. I'll add in some triplets and other ornaments that you can learn more about in the technique and fundamentals section of my website, um, where I show you how to do them and where to put them. Um, Play through it one more time and send you on your way. It's a lilting banshee. Again, new lessons every week. Uh, check out mandolessons.com for more, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.